Hello, this is Gerrit Mann from Techno Composites. We asked the AI the question, um, where are the areas where it makes no sense to use glass fiber reinforced plastics or composites? We received some answers and we can say, okay, they identified a few areas where it really makes no sense. On the other hand, um, there were answers. The AI said, no, it makes no sense, but we do it daily. So there are some areas where we really say, okay, the use of glass fiber reinforced plastics or composites makes no sense because of the material properties or also economic aspects. And one of these is um, a high temperature. So if you want to use um, glass fiber reinforced plastics, in an industry where you have high heat upward from 120 degrees, um, then it really makes no sense to use glass fiber reinforced plastics. Because with glass fiber reinforced plastics, um, we can uh, survive that for a special time. So uh, fire retardant solutions are something what we do daily. But that's only for the emergency case, not for the normal use. Another area is temperatures lower than 50 degrees Celsius, minus. Um, and uh, then you have to do with more uh, brittle and uh, less toughness. Um, and so that may be problematic. But on the other hand, these are solutions for Arctis or Antarctis. And I don't want to be there. That's too cold for me. Another part always mentioned is uh, you cannot recycle glass fibers. That's for sure. You cannot um, resolve the uh, fibers from the resin system. But the typical way to cope with that is you um, break it down to small flakes and put it in the cement industry because then after burning you have energy and um, the material, what is left over, can be used um, for cement industry. And so that's a way not of recycling, but of reusing. And on the other hand, when do you do it? After 30 or 40 years, uh, when the material you used for your train, your bus, your chemical industry or whatever um, is really uh, left over and you don't want to use it anymore then that's the case. And then the AI says you cannot use glass fiber reinforced plastics in the chemical industry where you have to do with a lot of solvents. This is not really correct because if we know in which area we are working, then glass fiber reinforced plastics are very perfect for that because you know the FRP profile shall withstand a special solvent or chemical and then you know it before and you can develop a resin system and a fiber system that is uh, withstanding that. So it's only a kind of engineering to know where you want to use it. If you have a project and chemical resistance is an item you have to clarify, then please call us, let's discuss about it and we will find a solution or if there is no solution we will open uh, uh, answer to that so that you have a clear idea what is possible and what is not possible. If you have the task that you need um, glass fiber material with this, which is electrically conductive and you ask the AI, the answer is no, it's electrical isolating. But that's only half of the truth because typically it's electrical um, isolating. But um, if you have a special item and you need it electric conductive. If we know it before, then we also can take a resin system which is electrically conductive or afterwards we can do something with paintings that are also electrically conductive. So also in that case, let's talk about it and we will find a solution. This is one item where the AI is mistaken. We will show you in the next video some other items where it's the same case and we have solutions for it. <laughs>